Eight short years ago, I was blessed with my first son. Everything was perfect. I had this beautiful, healthy gift from God. I couldn't ask for anything more. Two years later, my life flipped upside down when my little angel was diagnosed with autism. I thought to myself, I didn't plan this. What do I do now? I quickly became that mother warrior and tried to do anything to support my child. I was then blessed with my second son, another beautiful gift from God. Life was complete. I had a beautiful family. Everything was under control with my first child and his programs. I thought to myself, I've got this. Well, then the challenge of my second son being diagnosed with autism as well came upon me. After I got over the sadness and accepting my new norm, I quickly started making things happen for my second child. I wouldn't change my children for the world and thank God every day for choosing me to be their mother. They are my life and my blessings. However, I lost myself very easily in being a mom. I thought to myself, my children need me and there is no time for me. I placed myself on the back burner, putting my family first. I was exhausted and became so unhappy and miserable. Was I ever wrong? I've always loved health and fitness. I put it aside because I didn't think it was priority anymore, but I quickly learned that it had to be. I needed it in my life to be that mother warrior that I wanted to be. Putting myself first wasn't selfish, it was necessary. Necessary to be the mother, wife, and most importantly, woman I needed to be. It is the right kind of selfish. This in turn reflected on my family who need a strong, healthy person in their lives. I am now stronger as a person, both body and mind. I can deal with life's challenges with that inner strength that I've developed by taking care of me. I chose the path of competing in fitness competitions to give me a goal to strive for, something I've always admired but never had the courage to do. It's something I do for me, something I can call my own. It tests my level of discipline and I love the drive. It's not about the sparkly suit and pretty hair and makeup, as there is so much more to it. That moment on stage is such a feeling of accomplishment in so many ways. Life has thrown me some challenges, and I've chosen to let them make me stronger and not defeat me. Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. And this is my why.